One of the best ways to identify a scammer is by accessing their webcam. But here's the problem. The majority of scammers, they cover their webcams completely so you can't see anything. Now this scammer, he's got like scotch tape or something on there so you can see him a little bit but you can't fully identify who he is. And that's bad because I can't send this to the cops. Oh my gosh, we got his webcam. Now here with this guy, he actually takes the scotch tape off of his webcam. We turn it on and he even sees the light, but it doesn't matter. We've got everything clear recorded and we're about to show you. So let's get into it. Thank you for calling PayPal. How can I help you? Hey Jeff, I do apologize. Um, my landline had just died. I'm, I'm still here at the computer though. Do I give you the numbers? All right, sir. Uh, like, where it's are you right sir, now in the it's computer? Ma it's Brenda. My name is Brenda. I've been talking with you for 25 minutes now. I oh, all right. Now you can simply read out the numbers to me again. Yeah, 154. Can you just uh, uh, open the... I'm just sending the request again, all right, miss? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is just... I apologize. I have arthritis in my hands. So I'm oh. just... So you're going to have to help oh. me out. Okay. I don't see any kind of request coming through. Did you restart your computer? or something i'm or connecting not. you again just give me a moment okay give me a moment are you going to do a different computer just tell me the numbers again provide me the numbers you, again all right are you coming from a different computer yes miss okay now you can read numbers to me again yeah it's what As you see here, we've reversed to the scammer's computer. We have access to their system. One of the first things I want to do is I want to go into their files and try to get as many as I can. So here we've got a couple personal files. It looks like these activity class and growing up uh, worksheets. It looks like maybe the scammer has kids and these are some of their files. A couple scam files uh, of the work that they do and then also some CSVs. Now those are going to be typically used for blasting out emails or phone calls to potential victims. So. We removed those from the scammer's computer. Now, one of the interesting things that I found in the files, he had a file on there that was an actual recording with a victim. And it, it's chilling every single time to hear the scammer on the phone with a victim because um, no matter how many times you've heard it, it's still a real person on the other line that's potentially being scammed. Okay, you first log in in your bank. First log in in your bank. Okay, well, let me get into the bank first. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, go ahead and check it. My screen will go black now. One last thing we were able to get was the scammer's webcam. So of course I showed that to the street. Oh my gosh, we got his webcam. Got his webcam. Thank you for staying connected, Miss. So, you there? Woo! So, what we are going to do over here at this point, because we have keep your bank on the loop as well with us, we will send okay. all the reports to them as well, and we will connect your call to your bank as well. So, you can also ask them that if there are any charges which you cannot see right now, but the bank can see, so they can also stop it okay, now. So, are they what? on? They're on my computer and yours, or they're just on mine? That's just on your computer, Miss. Your device has been compromised, okay? okay now, so mine, that, mine has been compromised? Yes, and your, yes, your okay. computer IP address has been compromised, okay? Okay. We're doing some stuff in the back end. We found the camera of this camera, obviously, that they're on a laptop. This is him. This is him talking to me on the phone. See how he has his camera covered with a little piece of tape? Now, it wasn't a great shot, but the cool thing was two weeks later, this idiot untaped his webcam. I've got the video of that, which is kind of cool. It's funny because the light goes off and the light goes off in his head too. And he's like, oh my gosh, well, I'm scamming someone, but uh, someone's on my computer and they're looking at me. You can tell from the blurry picture to this picture, it's the same guy. And for whatever reason, he took the tape off. Maybe the wind blew it off. I don't know. Open up your online banking and check it out if you see any unusual transactions over there which you don't recognize for some reason today i had a transfer that has been made by you it has not been made by me i don't know why that's, that's not there. you that's not me 
I don't and what was the amount for that? Uh, 5,000. So there's a $5,000 transaction that the scammer saw. And that was actually from a previous scam bait that I had done. So they just kind of went with it and they were going to try to take that money. So in order to do so, they had to pretend to be Chase and they spoofed the number and ended up calling me pretending to be one of the bankers. We have sent the reports to your bank as well, Miss, regarding this, the entire case. So they might will call you, okay, on the secure line. Oh, they're calling me now. Uh, hi, ma'am. This is Mark calling you from Chase Bank. Um, am I talking to Brenda? Yeah, this is Brenda. It sounds like you're going through like a nitroglycerin plan or something. I'm calling you back. Okay. You need to fix your connection, sir. I'm sorry. It sounds like maybe you're in a, a washroom or something. No, 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 ma'am. I'm sitting at my office, ma'am, in the bank. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there is some... <clears throat> okay, ma'am. I can see that there is a hidden transaction under your account. We are unable to dis dispute this charge for you. Do you know why? Um... Why? Ma'am, because when this charge was made, it was 6 a.m. in the morning. Oh, the bank geez. was suspicious. That is the reason we did send you a text message on your cell phone number, whether you would like to approve the charge. If yes, press 1. If not, press 2. Brenda, you won't believe we got a positive response. One was pressed from your end. Ma'am, might be... Uh, uh, it, it's the it could be a hack. It, yeah, it's... So they've... Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, let me go ahead and check it. Listen very carefully, I just got a solution. So what we're gonna do, the hackers have done a fake charge under your account. So what we're gonna do, do you have any close, like closest grocery store nearby home, like Windexy, Kroger's, Walmart, Target, CVS, any store nearby your home? Yeah, how did you know? Please get ready, okay, get dressed up and grab all your debit cards and your credit cards and your driver license handy with you. Before the hackers take this money out from your account, we will ship this money using your debit card into the security cards, okay? I wanna fast forward a little bit because he wants me to get security cards, which we all know they're gift cards. And the reason why is because that's the easiest way for them to get money really quickly. I kinda of play along with that because we have access, we wanna get a Havala address. So instead of going to CVS, I just tell them I'm going straight to the bank. All right, I'm Don't pulling worry, in now. Hold on, I'm, I'm pulling in. Ma'am, listen carefully uh, before, listen, you are going inside the store or you, you are pulling in the parking lot? Uh, I'm pulling into the parking lot of my bank right now. You are going to the bank? Yeah. You have not gone to the CVS store? I thought you asked me to go to my bank. I'm over here at the bank now. Okay, leave it then. Uh, you are going to the bank, just go to the bank and withdraw $10,000 from your savings account and come out, okay? We show up at the bank and it goes from $5,000 to $10,000. On top of that, I get out $40,000. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to make it juicy enough for them to do a parcel instead of doing gift cards. I'm getting really tired. I... Ma'am, what happened? Why are you getting tired? I'm there with you, ma'am. You did not withdraw the cash, ma'am. No, I did. You have the cash with you right now? Well, it's sitting in the front seat. How much cash you withdraw? I got the 40000 that you told me to. Is this... I'm sorry. Did I not do something right? You have $40,000? Oh, okay, ma'am. What you can do? Uh, you can... Uh, do you have any box, paper box at your home? Yeah, I have a paper box. What we will do, ma'am, we will just put this money in the box and you can just send it to me, okay, on the secure bank address you can send this m money to us so that we can secure your money okay okay that sounds fine ma'am get a box a wrapping tape aluminium foil and some candies some toffees and chocolates okay 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 i'm here at this stupid cvs now did you send me the address yet ma'am i will send you don't worry you are at know, the I CVS like to, store, Emma. So I know that I'm not being scammed. I'd like to know at least, right? Okay, you first go inside the CVS store, get two Apple gift cards for $500 each and come out. No, I have to go get the box and the foil and all that. 
Ma'am, before that, get two Apple gift cards for 500 each and come out, okay? I will get them when I see the message of this whatever address I have to send this to. I'm sending you the address, okay? Chase, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm back out. I got the, um, I got the aluminum foil, um, I've got the book, and I've got a box. Um, you never sent me the address thing, so I did not get the cards, so. Ma'am. I will not send it to you. I will speak it. You need to write it down. I'll speak it to you. I have arthritis in my hands. I, I, I need you to message it to me or something. Oh, wait. I'm getting a text message right now. Hold on. We're really close. This is actually kind of risky that I'm doing. Oh, never mind. He sent me the address. The address that they had first sent me was real, but I knew it was like a bogus Havala address. So to flip the script on them, I went and told them that another scammer had given me a real address to send the money to. And that provided a sense of urgency to the scammers where they had to give me a real address where a real money mule would be. He sent me a really big building. He sent me a really big building. Office tower. Hello. Hello. M Brenda, this is Mark. Yeah, my son Chase is on the other line. He's... I'm there with you, ma'am. I know, he gave me yeah, yeah. the address. Um, hold on. Fong Tao. Yeah, okay, I've got the address. Fong Tao in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, I've got it. I, I saw the message that Chase sent. What are you saying? What are you saying? Is Fong Tao the name? Hold it, I'll put it in the room. Now please get two Apple gift cards for $500 each and come out, okay? I know, but what is this address? There's no name. You, the one you send doesn't have a name. They got sussed out. He sent me an address that was like BS. I was trying to push him to um, give me the address by saying there's another person, but <clears throat> they didn't seem to like that. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Brenda? Yes, this is Brenda. This is Chase. This is Mark from this Chase, is Chase, okay? Hey, son. You got the Apple gift cards? No. Why? Because you never sent me whatever you were supposed to send me. You sent me some kind of bogus thing. Ma'am, you can write it down. The address is 252. Wait, hold on, West. hold on, hold on. What, what now? Yes, I have that written down. They ended up giving me a second one, and that one was absolute money. That's where we were able to stop a parcel. We intercepted a package that had actual cash in it, and we saved a victim. All right, the scammer has given us the Havala. Has given me the green light to give it to the law enforcement. I can't say anything further there, ladies and gentlemen, about that. We're gonna leave him wondering. We're not gonna say anything else. You know what I mean? When we connect to scammers' computers, my number one thing is collecting evidence. I'm gonna find things like their real names, the location of where they are, and even sometimes their faces through their webcams. But more importantly, evidence of their scams that we can bundle together and give to the authorities. And the number one goal here on top of this is to get scammers arrested like we previously have done before. This has been Pro Your Scammer Payback, saying don't get scammed.